Hello everybody. In this video I will be talking about the electric field of the human body and how you how you can interact with it and you can actually manipulate it. So what you see here is basically just a diagram um, of the electric field of a circuit. And why I show you this is to give you the idea of what electricity is. Electricity is basically the electric field itself, meaning that the magnetic and dielectric energy are basically stored in the magnetic and dielectric field. So when we talk about electricity or electric signals, then um, I actually mean that something is going on in the electric field. Like for example, if an AC um, signal that we have here um, drawn out, like you would see it on the oscilloscope, um, is actually just a movement in the electric field itself. So electricity is basically the electric field itself. And since the human body also works electric and also has an electric field, um, which is measurable of course, um, we can, for example, move our muscles or fingers by sending, for example, an electric signal to the muscles. And this will cause them to yeah, expand or retract. And there were also experiments done where they have just connected um, two persons with electrodes, like for example on their arms they placed some electrodes on two persons and these electrons are connected to a computer and if person A um, moves their fingers the computer will pick up the electric signal from person A and send it to person B and person B all of a sudden will start to move his fingers even if he yeah, doesn't do this consciously or tell its fingers to move. So basically our human body is or has, whatever you want to call it, um, an electric field with intelligence. So we have a conscious, yeah, we can consciously move and manipulate our electric field. Others would call this, we send electric signals to our muscles, but if you think about it in a way of fields, then you will see that electricity is actually, um, yeah, the movement of these fields. When, yeah, rudely or crudely expressed. So, what I want to tell you with this, if I come to the practical part of this video, you can actually manipulate the field of your human body by just taking your thumb and your middle finger, for example, and place them like this can see my hand like this and yeah I discovered this accidentally but nonetheless it still works if you send some electricity or energy or an electric signal or whatever consciously to your fingers you don't need any force or push them together or something like this just hold them loosely and yeah, you will feel certain forces on your fingers or on your whole hand. Like if you would hold a small and very weak magnet between your fingers that will is repulsive or attractive uh, against anything. It works in air, strong against any object, like this is just a table. I can feel a repulsion when I move to it like this. So, how I discovered this was when building this um, anti-gravity device 
which is just a circular Helberg array. It focuses the field, the strong side on this side, and a parabolic copper reflector. And with this, basically, most people can experience this anti-gravity effects, where when you just take it and move it in a certain angle against any object, or it works also in air, but the effect is stronger when you do it against any object, then you can feel a certain repulsion when you do this. And yeah, what I discovered is that the effect sometimes got really strong and I gave it to other persons and they didn't feel it as strong or it was kind of different, some felt it stronger, some, f some people not so strong and yeah, on some days I would feel it really strong and then and I, yeah, I started to get the idea of why it was getting stronger and it is because basically um, I'm adding energy or electricity or whatever you want to call it from my body to this copper plate and it's basically the same when I do this and create this effect and then I have a tool that even let's say multiplies this effect between my fingers and do the same I can consciously enhance the effect or the strength of this effect by a lot and this is also why I don't add any batteries or coils to it because yeah, the intention was not to build a, a device that levitates or floats by itself but to make a tool that actually can help you learn to discover this ability because I think this is what something that everyone can learn and do it's just not known to a lot of people and yeah if you think about it logically if I can send an electric signal to move my finger like this why can't I send an electric signal to my finger like this without moving the fingers they don't have to physically move for me to be able to send an electric signal basically our bodies like an electric generator and you have intelligence or consciousness that controls this generator or this body I can consciously do whatever I want with my body I can move my fingers like this, like this whatever I want so we have an intelligent field that is basically <laughs> not what you are essentially but and some yeah, you could say, that is you. Um, anyways, this is just what I wanted to tell you, that this is a, totally a thing, and that you can uh, probably cool, do the craziest things with this. If we can experience this more, um, or more effects. And this is why I made this device. If you want to know how to make this, I have made a video um, where I showed how to build it. And if you can feel something like this or have experienced similar things, let me know in the comments. I would be interested in this. So, yeah, another way. I can think of, or what was for me, is just to try a normal copper reflector. This is also a parabolic shaped one. And just try to hover over it um, over a magnet or a magnet array. Then you will certainly feel this kind of repulsion. And then it is just about, about um, knowing how it feels and if you get that feeling because you have to imagine these are not at first really really strong effects at first they are kind of weak 
but noticeable and it's about noticing um, yeah what creates or what motions or movements because it's not just a straight movement will do feel the same as a circular movement they will feel different it's yeah comparable for an analogy like stirring with a spoon in a soup <laughs> it's depending on the speed how you do it you will feel a different resistance also the way you move it will cause it to differ so anyways I think I've talked enough for today about this topic so hope you could take away something from it and if you have questions leave me a comment so thanks for watching and goodbye